So I'm going to use the Joico Restorative Styling Oil. I'm going to put that on my hair. And we're going to be reviewing the Shark Blow Dryer. Um, I actually already opened it. Okay. Da -da 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 -da. This is how I came in. Okay. My first thoughts on it was, one, it blow dried my hair super fast. Two, um, maybe I was using the wrong um, function on it, but it was like leaving my hair very... There was a lot of hairs that were sticking out a lot, so we'll see if I can actually manage to use the correct setting on it today. This is the Shark blow dryer. This is how it looks. This is how it came. Um, it comes with two attachments, which is this attachment, and it has like different settings, like the pre-style, like the little thing inside goes, that whatever thing goes inside, and then you move it to the precision style and this sticks out. So this is how I had it. Um, maybe I just need to move it to this and see how that works for me. And then it also comes with this attachment. So I'm gonna try this attachment today too. Um, I don't know how that's gonna work, but um, we're gonna check it out today. So I'm gonna just quickly blow dry my hair. It does have, so it has the settings back here. So the cooling setting and the heat setting. So obviously this third little row being the highest, the hottest I'm assuming, and same here. So I'm gonna try it out like this without the attachments to see how it works. Okay, I wanted to try the setting, so let's see how that works. Oh, I was wrong by turn by pressing this it makes this hotter it's still hot okay i get it now so this is the speed of which the flow of the air is coming out so what about this though Okay, and then it's also cooling, so yeah, I'll just try to go cooler. Alright, so first things first, I'm going to put my hair up and I'm going to blow dry my hair in sections. So at first, I wanted to try out this attachment. Like, how does this thing work? What does it do? I don't know, I'm a little iffy about it, but let's see. Okay, so I don't know if I'm doing it right, but it looks like it's just straining my hair. <laughs> That's not what I want. I want the flow. I want the sass in there. So I'm going to take this off and just put this one on. So like I said, I, used, I had it on this setting right here. I'm going to change it to the setting down here and see if that works better for my hair. This is my Olivia Garden brush. It's been with me for quite... <laughs> time now like a year year and a half so it's gone through some things it has like a dent already but it's okay it still does the job so we're gonna blow dry the hair now and see how it works so usually i just kind of grab my hair like this and i just start blow drying I did want to say like it does blow dry the hair pretty fast but um, I have really thin hair now um, I used to have extremely thick hair before I had COVID um, back in September I got COVID really really bad I was in the hospital for about a week um, and my hair started falling out bad like my sister pointed that out today like girl your hair is really thin now I'm like it is so I'm assuming that's why it blow dries my hair really fast because I don't have as much hair as I used to so I don't know if that helps out anybody. Um, I don't know if it really is helping out and cutting down blow drying time. But I just wanted to put it out
looks now. This is a finished product. Um, I'm going to do a 360 so you guys can see all of it. Okay, so my final thoughts. This is the finished product. Um, it did blow dry my hair around the same time as um, my last blow dryer would. Um, one thing I did notice is that this thing does not vibrate. It does not move. So when I set it down, it stays in the same place. But I hate it about my last blow dryer is that it would vibrate and it would move all over the place and sometimes it would fall on the floor. This one does not move. You literally set it down and it just stays, even when it's on. Well, obviously when it's on, but, um, so I'm like, okay, perfect, awesome. Um, this attachment is cool. Maybe I didn't know how to use it. Um, it looks like it just strains, strains your hair. I obviously look for a little bit more oomph to my hair, as you guys can see. Um, so Olivia Garden, and this is the 390 Technique brush. Um, honestly, I don't know what sizes these are. I used to know what the size was, but I completely forgot. Um... I'll probably post it here in a second. Um, so these are the brushes that I used. I use these for my bottom hair or for like the longer pieces. And this for like the emphasized oomph to the hair. Um, but overall, I really like the blow dryer. Really good blow dryer actually. It was pretty cool. Um, this is the Shark blow dryer. As seen on TV. Really cool. It's pretty small. Oh, also what I noticed is that it's less noisy than my other blow dryers so this actually makes less noise than the other ones would which i'm pretty impressed about i'm like okay it doesn't make as much noise it does make noise but not as loud as the other ones so yep okay so i'm supposed to start at the hair salon tomorrow so i got my bag <laughs> i guess you could say brushes styling tools oils um one i have more in the pantry i'm about to put it in here um clips you know brushes paint brushes everything that i'm gonna need so i'm supposed to start at the hair salon tomorrow but i don't know if i'm gonna go in because um it actually snowed today in texas and we don't obviously get snow here and the roads are actually pretty bad um this morning i left to go to my mom's house and the only reason i went to my mom's house is because she lives five minutes away from me like literally down the street from me so i was like you know what i'm gonna just spend the day with my family and my kids so they can all spend time together with my little sisters too so i'm supposed to start at the salon tomorrow and it's pretty far out from where i live so i'm pretty nervous to see how the roads are going to be tomorrow because if the roads are bad then i'm not going in you know like i'll be like i'm sorry but he was actually pretty cool he messaged me today and he was talking about like hey like are you gonna be able to come in if not it's cool I'm gonna be like, I don't think I'm gonna be able to, but we'll see. We'll see how t tomorrow looks. Um, it's supposed to be colder tomorrow, so um, I don't know because within those five minutes of me just driving down the street, my car was just slipping and sliding everywhere. So I don't know if I'm willing to risk it, um, but we'll we shall see. Um, but yeah, so everything I have literally my bag ready to be packed to go to the salon tomorrow. So I think that will be a different video for like my first day at the salon um so yeah thank you so much for watching this youtube video and i'll watch you. we'll see you guys in my next one